Hi guys, it's Zenma. Welcome to The Wolf Den. And today I'm going to be doing a haul for you. It is probably the last time I'm going to go to Toys R Us. So that's what I'm going to be doing. If I do have to go back to get it, the white version of this, which her name's Ivory, this one's Tyler. So I think Ivory was more set, set to be the girl's version of it. But yeah, I went there. I called ahead of time to see if they had if they were actually up to the public still because I haven't been there in ages. And I asked if they had wheelchairs or electronic scooters, you know, because I can't walk a long ways. And even that's in that small store, because it's not like a huge Toys R Us, I had to stop and sit on the floor because I was getting shaky. So, I mean, I was like, why do you not have wheelchairs at least until like your last day? And it makes no sense because real handicapped people, unless they bring their own stuff, can't shop without being very uncomfortable. It kind of ruined the experience, but I got what I need or I thought that I needed. I don't need any of this, but I got what I wanted. I went there to look for the Monster High dolls and they only had like two and a couple of stationary items. I'm like, eh. All the Claire's stuff, which I never knew Claire's was part of Toys R Us. It was all jumped up in the middle and twisted or knotted around. Nothing had a price on it. I'm like, I'm not even going to attempt to go through that stuff. So, um, I saved $33, but I still spent $82. So, eh, every little bit helps. I didn't want to spend a whole lot there, but I don't care. <laughs> I got it. It's good. So, let's see. We'll start out with this one. I got this Funko of the Mummy. I really like this movie, except for Tom Cruise. I really like the concept. I did feel it was a bit rushed, and the whole romantic thing. I can't stay in movies. I just put romance in the movie. So I asked to draw the female crowd or whatever. I don't know. I don't get it. It would have been a perfectly good action movie without the romance, like in Pacific Rim at the end when um, Mako and Molly kiss. I'm like, really? But anyway, I love this little girl who plays this. She played Gazelle in Kingsman, and there's a movie called The Hotel Artemis. It's almost got like the hotel and John Wick type of vibe to it, and she's a spy in that. So I'm really looking forward to that. They also have the um, Tom Cruise version and her before she came, the mummy. She was, I guess, a princess or a queen. And I got me Hopper. They didn't have any bobs. They did have Nancy and Jonathan, and that was it. They had a few, quite a few Nancy and Jonathans. Um, but yeah, there's the ones you can get. I'm waiting to get the new set that has two bobs in it. So that will be coming soon. And then I got this nice detailed figurine of Hopper. This one's about 20 bucks, depending on where you get it from. And it was only 13 for me at Toys R Us. Everything was still 30 to 50% off. So it just depended on which section you were in. So it's very, very detailed. The camera does not do it justice. I mean, there's even like fold in his clothes. I mean, whoever made the mold for this figure did really, really good. I did have a bunch of 11s though. One Dustin, I was tempted to get Dustin. But I'm like, mm, no. And then I saw this and I've already got the bell in the gold dress, not the one that sings, just the one in the gold dress. So I figured I'd get her buddies. And the detail on these figures is exquisite. The only part of them that are like stickers are like their eyes and their face, like for Mrs. Potts, Chip, and Cogsworth. But everything else is handcrafted, like detailing. So I mean, oh man, it won't pick up. But there's so much detail put into these figures. I was just shocked and I'm like, I have to get these. So I did. And then I, the only thing I actually got, I think that was Monster High, was half a box of these Monster High minis from season one, which I think they were on like season three or four. But I think Monster High is going to be discontinued because they've only released 24 dolls this year. I don't know like how many lines that is, but they weren't even at Toy Fair this year, and that's really sad because I've collected these doll the dolls from the beginning, and I've just started collecting these because 
we just had them come available in our store locally, so it's it's very, very sad because that, I think that's one of the most original ideas, and I know Ever After High was pretty much given the axe, I think last year or the year before, and kind of merged into Enchantimals, and that's what they're going for now. I think ever since they lost the rights to produce like the Disney um, Princess Barbies, I think what Hasbro does them now, I think that kind of sunk their whole ship, so. But I mean, people still like Monster High. I mean, I prefer the old style of dolls, but some of them are really good, so I've been going on Amazon and like putting them on my list of which ones that I need. And I'd ordered a set of Duke, Duke, Claude and Claudine in like these sports outfits for like $34 a suit, and I said checked out. Everything was fine, then I get an email later saying that due to some un blah 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 circumstance, this item is no longer in stock. I'm like, what? So that kind of takes me off. And the rest, I think, are Tsum Tsums. You know, those little Disney stackable things. I've got, I keep mine in this little jar because somehow my little Lucifer, because I had, a, I got the crate, the cat pack from um, Dollar General for 10 bucks. It's got Sheer Khan, you can tell it's Sheer Khan because it's got grumpy face. And then it had this little Marie. Ooh, that was a bad angle. This little Marie, and she can come out of that, or she can put whoever you want to in that, so it's the same size. And it had Lucifer that was the same size as Marie. Then it had this little accessory, and I didn't find another Lucifer, but I'm hoping I can find this one, or mine, if I look hard enough. These are the two that got me, are the little baby Simbas. I don't know if you can even see in the tiny Simba and the little baby scar. It's so, so freaking cute. These little tiny ones are like my favorite. But they remind me of pills. I don't know why. So, I've been keeping them in this now since Lucifer's disappeared. John had gotten me two of the blind bag ones before I went out to the hospital time before last. I was like a get well soon gift. And then I got Tiger Lily. And I got Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Tiger Lily, of course, was from Peter Pan. If you didn't know, she's in this little bottle of potions because that's what she likes to mess with. And we'll put them back in the air so they don't get lost. I'm not going to unbox these now, like the Monster High. I wanted to make two different videos for that, but I will show you what I got. Because um, a couple of them have like surprise ones. But I got the Frozen set. I was kind of mad that they didn't have Sven, but the only reason I got it, they had, they got Hans. I love Hans, so I got it. Look at the little baby Elsa and her little throne. Yeah. I was like, why well, can't you put like Sven over here? But I don't know if I actually got him or not. But I got this little kitty cat pack. Has a little baby Cheshire cat and another Marie and Figaro. So I'll probably be putting this little Marie on eBay or something to get rid of her because I don't want doubles. I don't need doubles. So. And I only want one from each size. I don't need to get like a ton of them. So. And the last two things I got are still Simpsons, but they have mystery figures in them. I got Aladdin and Raja. And you can tell it's Raja because see how he has such a nice cute face. And Shere Khan has such an angry, grumpy face. See, sweet, grumpy face. Sweet, sweet, innocent baby face. And then Jasmine. And you can either get one bigger figure in here or two smaller ones. So, I don't know. I already got Roger, so. Then they had Gaston and Belle, and same deal with this. I don't know if they have the beast in well, I'll find out because they have collector's guys. But you yeah, know, maybe a little Lumiere, a little Cogsworth, that'd be cute. And then a little mini Toys R Us haul. Like I said, it wasn't a lot. But I think the thing that cost me the most are these, because these are $2.99 a piece and they were only 30% off. And there's two, four, there's ten of those, so they would have had more I would have bought more of them so I'm glad they didn't have more I'm going to go do the film these unboxings of the stuff and 
I'll see you then. Like, subscribe, join the pack. We would love to have you here. And if you like to see toy unboxing, because I love getting blind boxes, especially if it's something that I'm into, let me know, because I'll go out and get a whole slew of them. Because I found a few places online that I can get these Monster High minis for a pretty reasonable price. So, I'd be happy to do that and get some more. And like I said, any doubles that I get, I'll put them on eBay or whatever. Um, Cause I'm like, I would use Poshmark, but no matter what you sell, the shipping is $6.95. And I'm not gonna put this one little Marie up there for a dollar and char make somebody pay $6.95 for shipping. So I'm like, I'll put like maybe a dollar or 50 or $2 for shipping, just so I can get one of those little bubble mailers so she doesn't get all banged up. But yeah. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.